Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Avinav. So in this video, we are going to discuss the problem number A, B, and C. Means the first three problems of Google Code Jam or qualification round 2022. So yeah, the problem A and B, uh, uh, all the basically uh, the all the three problems were quite uh, easy and logic based. The problem A was just an implementation based problem in which you have to implement a particular pattern. B and C are, yeah, you can say are, are good problems and uh, are basically B or C problems of you can say code forces rounds, division two rounds, fine. So uh, the first problem was uh, uh, just a implementation based problem in which you have to implement this type of pattern basically, okay. So basically for three rows, what you have to do is that you have to, uh, uh, and for four columns, you have to print a pattern which there are three rows like one this is considered to be the first row second row third row four sorry means these, these are columns first column second column third column fourth column and this is row means this is the first row this is the second row this is the third row like this and this hole is the third row this hole is the second row and this hole is the first row like this this is what you have to print so this was just an implementation problem there is no such logic and uh, the constant of R and C are starting from 2 and 2 means the smallest possible pattern will be of 2, 2, which is also given in the input case, which was like this. Means there are two rows and two columns in each row, okay, like that. So this was the problem. So what I have done is you can just check my code. So first of all, I have uh, declared these, uh, uh, this particular symbol as dot. Okay, so that I have to not write every time this C out dot. I have to just write dot whenever I want to print dot. Same for dash, same for pipe, same for plus. So pipe was uh, indicated at this, this symbol, plus was this addition mark, dash was this minus mark, okay? Now let's see that what I have done, okay? Uh, so first of all, I have taken the input of n and n. Then you can see here that whatever is the value of uh, this uh, n and n, two lines are common. What two lines? The first line is there are two dots and then a plus minus plus minus sequence based on the number of columns. There are four columns, then there are some one, two, three sequences. Here are two columns, so here are one such sequence of minus and plus. So basically, this thing is common, that if we have four columns, then we have a dot dot plus and three minus plus sequence. And a dot dot pipe, I, can, I will say this uh, a pipe, as mentioned in the problem statement also. So dot dot pipe and then three times a dot pipe sequence. So this is what I have done. I have first printed dot dot plus for this particular thing, then I have printed m minus one time means column minus one times dash and plus because there is a sequence of dash and plus this thing now what i have done is if you will see now what i have done is uh, i have uh, for this one i have printed dot dot pipe okay and then what i have done is that uh, n minus m minus one minus dot pipe the sequence of dot pipe like this and this nl is basically new line okay so, okay, fine. Uh, now what I have done is that uh, there are, uh, this is a particular one row, which we have already uh, printed. So now n minus one rows are remaining. So for all n minus one rows, I have done a loop. And in this particular n minus one loop, what I have done is I have printed the particular pattern which is this pattern. How many number of times? M number of times only. So you can check it out. You can check my code. I will share the link to the code in the description box, okay? So this was a simple implementation based problem. So let's move towards the problem number uh, B, which is uh, 3D printing. This was a very amazing problem in which you have to basically print three Ds, okay? So Ds for uh, something, <laughs> you have to print that. Uh, now you have three printers, so obviously you will use each printer to print each D. Means all the three printers will be used and 
for maybe if there are abc 3ds you can use this particular printer for printing the num uh, c number uh, thus uh, dc this for da and this for db so like uh, for this you have to uh, use all the three printers for a 3d okay fine so also a d is uh, basically uh, to uh, paint the d you have to you uh, need some color okay so there are basically some four non negative primary colors or you can say basic colors which are uh, cyan magenta yellow and black and all the other colors are uh, produced with the help of these four colors so basically these four colors are given to you now what you have to do is that you are given the amount of these four uh, colors present in these printers you have to find a such color you have to find such a color such that such that that color can be from from all three printers plus the sum of all the units of that color should not exceed should be exactly 10 to the power 6 should be exactly 10 to the power 6 so jitne bhi colors honge sabko ka add kar lena the units honge wo 10 to the power 6 tak honge okay so uh, we have to first of all observe one thing so for that we will move towards the uh, white board okay so we have to make some observations so the observation is just a minute yeah. so for example this is the printer number a there is a printer number b this is the printer number c okay uh, there are four colors which are c m y b so this is c a c m c y c b this is uh, sorry sorry so what i have done just a minute i have done something wrong we have to not in a slice like this i was writing c a m a y a b a now it is c b m b y b b b now it is c c m c y c b c okay so these are some uh, colors and uh, yeah so the printer number a contains c a m a y a b a b contains this these colors and these units of colors or these amount of colors so basically you have to find a final pattern of colors which can be you can say f c or sorry again i have done a wrong thing which we can say is because it is a final cf mf yf bf like this okay means the uh, amount of cyan in the final color amount of magenta amount of yellow amount of black in the final color this is we have to find so what can be the largest value of this cf if you have to find largest value which can take jada jada hum log kitna cf le sakte hain because we have to use that cf from all the three printers so that particular amount of cf should be present in all the three printers in a also in b also in c also so what can be the value of that cf which is present in all the three, three printers okay so if we take minimum of these three values for example in the printer number a three units of cyan color is present in printer number b two units of cyan is present in c four units of cyan and if someone asks how many cyan can we take maximum how many cyan we can take so that that is present in all the three printers because we have to print from all the three printers so we will i will say two unit because if if i say three units then yeah three units is present here three units is present here but three units is not present here two is the uh, uh, color which is present here also two units is present here also here also so if we take the minimum of these three values that is what we will get the maximum means largest value of cf which we can take usse kam bhi le sakte we can also take one unit here we can also take zero zero unit of cyan but we cannot take more than two unit just like this also just like this also so if we take minimum of these values so it will be the largest amount of magenta color that we know we can take and if we for example if we are taking the largest only तो उनका सम निकालेंगे वी विल फाइंड द सम ऑफ दिस फोर वैल्यू एंड इफ दैट विल बी लेस देन द पावर सिक्स देन द आंसर विल बी पॉसिबल 
because when we are taking the largest possible maximum possible unit of a particular color then also the sum is less than 10 power 6 then we can't make it greater than 10 power 6 or equal to 10 power 6 because we have to make it exactly 10 power 6 we have to make the sum exactly 10 power 6 but as we know that here we know that here we, uh, the sum of all the four is less than 10 power 6 we can't make it 10 power 6 and if the sum is greater than 10 power 6 or equal to then we can simply check we will print first of all we will print cf then if the sum is less than then mf then the remaining of the power 6 we have to we have to make the sum of these all the four values 10 to the power 6 so if it is less greater than 10 power 6 we can obviously make some corrections so that it will become 10 power 6 we can reduce mf we can reduce yf we can do bf we can do cf but if it is already less than 10 power 6 then we can not do anything it is already we cannot increase them because we have already taken the largest possible value fine so this is what uh, i was trying to explain i hope you get it so let's move towards the code part to understand it So yeah, I have written a very simple code for this particular statement. I hope uh, you will get it. And yeah, uh, uh, just a minute. Uh, just a minute. Just a minute. There is some problem in fetching the code. I don't know but there is some problem in fetching the code of this particular Just let me reload the page I think that will be more easy Sorry for the delay so that is what i am trying to say that uh, if we have to to take the sum exactly equal to power 6 then obviously we have to make some corrections in the value of and we have to decrease the value if it is greater than power 6 okay so this is what we have to do and uh, i think that the network of uh, Uh, google code gem but now it is working fine okay so yeah let me just explain you the code of this particular problem what i have done i hope the screen is visible yeah now it is loaded yeah now it is work fine i think so what i have done is that i have first taken the input okay and uh, the input is in the form of array because uh, all the time we have just the array of 3 to 4 after that uh, yeah i have find the minimum of for all the colors the minimum for all the colors in the vi and then i have find the sum of this vector vi and if the sum is already less than the power 6 then obviously the solution is impossible and that is what i have done here impossible And if the sum is greater than or equal to 10, then we will check that if the sum is exceeding 10 power 6, then we have to just print the decreased value. You can check out my code, and you, or you can implement your own also. It is not necessary to implement or to see my code only. Okay. So now the last problem, which is the problem number D, it was a great one, and uh, yeah, you can say it is a great problem with a great logic. So basically, there is uh, some dice given to us in which there are dk type of dice what is dk type of dice because uh, the usual dice which we use is six side dice there are six sides from 1 to 6 so it is called 6k dice okay or d6 dice and if in the dk dice obviously there are k sides numbered from 1 to k so this uh, i think it is understood so what we have to do is that uh, we, we at once we can pick a dice and in that dice we can pick a particular number okay after that what we can do is that uh, 
we have to uh, arrange order that number in such a way such that they form a straight sequence basically straight sequence is a sequence of consecutive numbers okay we, we can make straight sequence so what can be the longest straight sequence we can get so basically what we have to do is we have to uh, rearrange the dice we have to rearrange the dice in such a way that the longest uh, sequence is producing such like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 for example i have taken here a dice which is showing 1 here a dice showing 2 3 4 and so on so for a dice which can show one obviously that the side should contain greater one side for a dice which can show five obviously it should contain greater than equal to five sides because as a dice with four side cannot show us the number five for four sides cannot show the number five okay so for the smallest number we have to take the smallest dice ठीक है भाई अगर हमारे पास हमें मान लो एक और दो चाहिए वी हैव टू डाइस जस्ट टू डाइस विच इज टू एंड वन टू एंड फोर बिकॉज डाइज आई स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम फोर के डी फोर ऑनली सो इफ वी हैव टेन एंड फोर एंड इफ वी आर टेकिंग नॉट टेन एंड फोर लेट्स टेक जस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ टेन एंड वन लेट्स डेट डाइज विद ऑनली वन साइड सो इफ वी हैव टू टू इफ वी आर टेकिंग वन फ्रॉम दिस टेन then how can i get two if we get, if we will take one from this one and then two from this then a sequence of one and two is possible but in that case it was not possible so always take the smallest number from the smallest possible dice first of all we will sort the particular array given to us okay now what we will do is in a counter c is equal to 0 we will check the number of dices we can take the, number, the length of the longest sequence we are taking so for c is equal to 1 the dice should be greater than equal to 1 for c is equal to 2 the number of dice should be greater than equal to 2 and if it is not we will not give in the value of c for example here is a side dice with side 4 here with 4 here also with 4 4 4 4 let's say 5 now here also 5 the near six for example this is the pattern so firstly the value of c is zero now here it will check for if this particular value is greater than c yeah it is greater so we will increment the value of c it will become one now now it will check that yeah it is greater it is greater it will become two now two are there this one and this one we can take this four for one this four for two now it is greater yes take three now c is three is it greater yes take 4 now c is 4 this particular dice is not greater than this c it is just equal so we cannot take 5 from here because it is a dice of four sides only so we will not take it c we will check for c4 here also here it is not possible here it is possible because it is greater than 5 here we will take 5 we will increment c to 5 here also it is not possible yeah here it is possible So you can say after this the array will break and the answer will be six only. The answer is this is the six. Okay. So this was basically logic behind uh, my behind this problem. So let me just uh, check the code part for more better understanding. So what I have done in code I have uh, written here. yeah so just uh, as i uh, if you are connected with me on linkedin i have told in that linkedin also it is just a two line code not a two line because you can you are seeing multiple lines the main logic is of just two lines okay i will tell you how i have just taken the value of n and vector input and output are obvious but the exact logic is just of two lines the first line is to sort the second line is to is of for loop and if statement just a th three line code it was just a three line code nothing more than that